Hello and welcome to the Church of Christ Midday Prayer Session in Devo. I've been off for about a week. Um, I had a wonderful anniversary time with my wife and we took off some time and and just took off and had a great time. That's all. I just all I want to say is just we just had a great time. Put everything behind us and cut the phones off and just had a great time. But what I would like to do is start uh, two series, probably about four to six weeks. And one is going to be um, insight for men, just a couple of minutes like we've been doing at 12 o'clock. And the other one is going to be um, inspiration for women. And I've been reading uh, these two wonderful uh, books by Jim and Elizabeth George. And uh, I just want to share that with you during the midday time. So I have something separate for the men and something separate for the women that you can dial into. So, and I hope that you will be blessed by this, um, uh, this time that we're going to share together for a couple of minutes during the midday. Okay. All right. The first segment right now is for the men and I will give you uh, inspiration for the women separately on a different call in. Okay, guys, waiting for God's answers. When you think your prayers aren't being answered, you tend to get discouraged and cry out, God, why aren't you helping me? Brothers, we get frustrated too. Yet God has promised to answer our prayers, right? Asking it will be given you, seeking you will find, knocking it will open to you, Matthew 7, 7. However, sometimes you don't see the answer for a while or God may Say no, because he has a different and better plan for what you're asking him. So you are exhorted to ask, but your request must be in faith. Matthew 21, 22, without selfish motives. Be careful how you pray. James 4, 3. And according to his will, according to the will of God, 1 John 5, 14 through 15. When you pray, be careful what you pray for. You already know who God is and how God works. Don't frustrate yourself by praying for things that you know God will tell you no to. He's just going to say no to that because that doesn't align with his will. So God is not going to answer your prayer if it doesn't align with his will. Okay? Don't be selfish. Don't be self-centered. As a man, pray for things that you know are going to move the kingdom. God going to always give you the desires of your heart. So you don't have to worry about what's inside and what you want. God will give it to you in your season. But pray in alignment with God's purpose and will in the kingdom. And you'd be surprised how things will start falling into place for you guys. You don't have to get all frustrated and, and, and you know, lose your temper and start yelling and screaming about stuff that you haven't resolved. If you start praying And being in line with God's will, you see the very nature of who you are change. And you'll be more at peace with yourself. Therefore, you will be at peace with your surroundings. Okay? All right, let us pray. Heavenly Father, dear God, we thank you so much for all good things. And Father, waiting for your answer to our prayers is one of them. But as we wait, We believe that you will build our faith, purify our heart, and show us your will. We thank you for listening to us. We thank you for this time that we're having together right now. That will give us some insight on how to move forward with our afternoon into our evening. And we thank you because Jesus made this possible. And in his name, we pray these things. Amen. Guys, thank you for dialing into our midday prayer session in Devo. Great having you with us. Just a few minutes break up your day, give you some insight, and keep it moving in Jesus Christ our Lord. Praise and blessings.